Hey, everyone! Welcome back to our channel I News You. Today, we've got a fascinating topic to discuss that's been making waves in the digital world. You might have heard of influencers, but have you ever heard of virtual influencers? Stick around as we dive into the world of AI-created digital personalities that are shaking up the traditional influencer scene. Our story begins with Aitana Lopez, a pink-haired sensation with over 200,000 followers on social media. What's unique about Aitana? Well, she's entirely fictional. Created by an AI-powered agency called The Clueless, Aitana has been turning heads and raising eyebrows in the $21 billion content creator economy. Diana Nunez, we were taken aback by the skyrocketing rates influencers charge nowadays. That got us thinking, what if we just create our own influencer? The rest is history. We unintentionally created a monster. A beautiful one, though. Now, you might be wondering, why are brands paying thousands for posts from virtual influencers? Well, according to an Instagram analysis, virtual influencers like Kuki can reach 11 times more people with a 91% decrease in cost compared to traditional ads. The appeal lies in their ability to generate awareness, favorability, and recall for brands. Becky Owen, it is not influencing purchase like a human influencer would, but it is driving awareness, favorability, and recall for the brand. But, of course, with innovation comes controversy. Human influencers are concerned about their income being threatened by these digital rivals. And it's not just influencers, established professions are feeling the heat from generative AI, raising questions about the future job market. Danae Mercer, what freaks me out about these influencers is how hard it is to tell they're fake. Another point of contention is disclosure. Should virtual influencers be required to disclose that they are not real? While the UK's Advertising Standards Agency is monitoring the rise of virtual influencers, there's currently no rule mandating such disclosure. In contrast, India requires virtual influencers to reveal their AI origins. Rebecca McGrath, for a brand, they have total control versus a real person who comes with potential controversy, their own demands, their own opinions. Virtual influencers aren't just a one-time experiment. High-profile partnerships with luxury brands, like Kim Kardashian's KKW Beauty and Louis Vuitton, have paved the way for AI-generated digital personalities to become the new faces of marketing. Some argue that virtual influencers, like Lil Miquela, are breaking new ground by representing diverse audiences. However, critics point out that the motivations behind creating racially ambiguous features might just be another marketing strategy to target a broader audience. Francesca Soban, this, can be very convenient for brands wanting to identify global marketing strategies and trying to project a hollow image that might be perceived as progressive. Now, let's talk about the darker side. Virtual influencers, including Aitana, have faced criticism for being overly sexualized. The Clueless argues that they're merely mirroring industry norms but some human influencers see it differently. Danae Mercer, it feels like women in recent years have been able to take back some agency, but AI-generated creations, often made by men, were once again profiting from female sexuality. That is the reason behind growing these accounts. It is to make money. Now, Let's delve deeper into the impact on the influencer economy. With virtual influencers like Lil Miquela commanding hefty fees for partnerships with major fashion houses, some wonder if traditional influencers will see a decline in opportunities. 
the virtual realm seems to offer brands a cost-effective alternative with more control. Rivimacon, a lot of companies are coming out with virtual influencers they have generated in a day, and they are not really putting that human element into the messaging, and I don't think that is going to be the long-term strategy. What's next for virtual influencers? The Clueless, for instance, is already working on a new creation named Layla, described as a curvy Mexican. As the technology evolves, we can expect even more diverse and sophisticated virtual personalities entering the scene. As virtual influencers become more sophisticated, ethical concerns emerge. The line between reality and virtuality blurs, and followers find it challenging to distinguish between AI-generated content and human-generated content. The lack of clear regulations raises questions about transparency and accountability in this evolving landscape. Danae Mercer, even though we made it clear she was an AI-generated model, initially, most of her followers didn't question her authenticity, they genuinely believed in her existence. Beyond the marketing realm, virtual influencers are making waves culturally. Lil Miquela, with her mixed race identity, has garnered a diverse audience spanning continents. The influence of these digital avatars extends beyond borders, challenging conventional notions of representation and identity in the digital age. Let's talk about gender dynamics. While virtual influencers may offer a fresh perspective on representation, there are concerns about the perpetuation of gender stereotypes. The Clueless, for example, has faced criticism for the perceived sexualization of their creations. It raises questions about who is behind these virtual personalities and the impact on societal perceptions. One key element that sets virtual influencers apart is their storytelling. The creators of Lil Miquela emphasize the importance of a human element in crafting narratives. As AI continues to evolve, will we see a shift towards more emotionally resonant and nuanced storytelling in the virtual realm? Francesca Soban, this can be very convenient for brands wanting to identify global marketing strategies and trying to project a hollow image that might be perceived as progressive. Closing in on the business side, brands are leveraging virtual influencers not just for marketing but as strategic business tools. The ability to control every aspect, from appearance to messaging, provides a level of predictability that brands find appealing in an era where unpredictability is the norm. As we wrap up this journey into the realm of virtual influencers, the big question remains. Are these digital creations a threat or a boom? Only time will tell how this AI-driven evolution shapes the influencer landscape and whether traditional influencers will adapt or face obsolescence. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the world of AI-created virtual influencers. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe for more thought-provoking content. Until next time, Stay tuned, stay informed, and stay curious.